I said before that NF kind of sounds like a motorcycle. I'll fight you all the way to hit Tennessee. I'll fight you all the way. Oh my gosh. It was great. It was so good. This album was fantastic. And I can't I can't say enough good things about it. Um, hello, my name is Young Corleone. I'm, forget the intro. Just talk, get the album. Um, it was so good. NF's new album, Perception, just came out today. And I picked it up at Best Buy for about $10. You can probably get it anywhere else. Same price. Um, NF actually has his own picture on... Like his, you know, the cool little background they do for iTunes stuff. Yeah, the, he got he got one for this album. So good job. Um, as you can tell, I am a huge NF fan. Um, what you see now is a picture of me meeting him. He doesn't look too enthused. Uh, I look over enthused, but it's okay because he's awesome NF and I'm just Joey, so it's all right. Anyway, um, back to the album. Perception just came out today. Um, fantastic, as I said before. Not much bad I can say about it. The only thing that's bad about it that I could possibly say is maybe it sounds a little repetitive. The beats maybe sound a little repetitive for each song, but that's okay because he goes hard in all of them and all the lyrics are different in all of them. Um, so it starts off with intro as always. And if you have his other albums or have listened to his other albums, intro started with Mansion and he's had an intro for each album up till now. And you probably will till the end of time. Um, and it was it was dope. It was really dope. Every intro that he's put out, well, the past two intros he's put out have been uh, strictly, man, don't talk bad on my name. Uh, I'm NF. I'm coming to the building. You didn't up. You didn't expect any of this, man. I'm about to rhyme in your face, cause you know, just hype up. It was like an intro for an album. Just hype it up. This one, same thing but extremely deep. <laughs> I mean, he even talks about how in the song, he's like, oh, you think this is deep? Well, it's only three minutes. How's that deep, bro? You don't even know me. And it was cool because he kind of had like a battle between himself and his other persona, which is fear, depression, and anxiety, which we all see and we all have. Um, oh, another note. I apologize, I didn't say this in the beginning of the video. If you saw my October update, you would have known that Mikey was on that and he was supposed to be here with me for this album review, but schedules got a little mixed up. So hopefully he'll be here for the um, Tech 9 album review next week. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But anyway, back to the uh, thing you guys came here to hear about. There's nothing better than an NF album, in my opinion, because everything on the album is real, it's relatable, it's hard, and it's lyrical. I don't know if I said lyrical, but yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. It was so great. It was too good. Um, I said before that NF kind of sounds like a motorcycle. No, NF kind of sounds a little edgy to me, a little teen angst to me a little bit. That was before, you know, I stopped listening to his CDs for a little while, just going on other stuff, you know, focusing on some other things, and I completely forgot about why I listened to him to begin with. I listened to him to begin with because everything I just said, he's relatable, he's lyrical, he goes in, every alley he puts out is just so great. It honestly, all those albums feel like one album put together because they all just flow so well together. I love when artists do that. I haven't seen an artist do that, honestly, ever, I don't think unless they had a series um and by no means is this like a series it's just him it's just his life and one thing i love about each album each album is a chapter and his career is his life it's like the book of his life and i find that so inspirational because he just decides to be different like nobody's different nobody Except for possibly Lecrae, but he's kind of going in towards the more mainstream side, which is not bad at all, by any means. You know, he's kind of matured in his career. He wants to move on to bigger things, which is, you know, it's good. Good for him. And I said that in the last video. But this man, who's not even a secular artist, has blown up in the secular industry. Kids who love pop punk music, warp Tour type music. 
and mainstream hip hop, you know, they all love NF. I bring up NF to any one of my friends. They say, put it on right now. I say, we're not even in the car. We're just talking. He's like, put it on. You know, <laughs> you see what I mean? He's not even like, he's not even secular. He's a Christian dude. And he overtook the Christian industry. Like, we, everyone thought Andy Mineo was successful in the Christian industry. You know, he came out, what, 2011? And blew up by 2013? This man came out 2014, but blew up 2014. <laughs> I mean, it, it's so good. It, it's I'm so happy for him because when you listen to these albums, you hear his life story and his depression, his... um. You know different issues he's been going through and it's just nice to hear that he's successful and i'm happy for him because he's a good dude you know i met him i didn't get to meet him for long but he seemed like a genuinely nice guy and i feel like if you know i ever got to really meet him i'd think the exact same way um what else can i say about this Oh yeah. So every song goes hard. Every song goes hard. It's got a love song on here and it goes in. Like how do you make a love song go hard? I don't understand it. I mean it's just such a great album. I listened to it like 3 or 4 times. No, I'm just kidding. Like 2, 2 times and I only bought it like 2 hours ago. And it's probably like a two hour long album. I had to do that. I don't know. I just did. And I, I was so excited for this. I was so excited. It's so good. It is just too good. And I just love the story behind it. Now, I feel that the story kind of went down, you know, kind of slowed down a little bit because it started off with him being, you know, locked in a cage, shackled up, kind of like you see on the, uh, yeah, the album cover, and um, it it, it kind of didn't stay that way for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, I thought that would have been totally cool if every song was another chapter within the album, and the album was a book, and the book was a part of a series, which was his career. I, I'm very technical like that, but you know, that's probably the only downside. Besides his beats kind of sounding similar, um, but I don't have a problem with that because they go in, they go super hard. You can put. You know, you compare Evan NF to other rap artists or other artists just in general, and nobody nobody goes in like he does. If anything, the only one who did before him was Eminem. I mean, I love Eminem, all his old stuff. Not anything new, really. I'm not really not really a fan of it. But his old stuff, I'm not honest, great, so good. Um, I actually have like five of his CDs. I don't have all of them, obviously, but um. Yeah, it's just so, he was so good, and the reason he was so good is because he was real, relatable, and he didn't care. He just didn't care. And NF does the exact same thing, but he takes it a step further, in my opinion, because everyone sees a rap artist like a superstar. I mean, you look at you know, this dude, and then you think, wow, he's living the life. I, I want to live that life, but I never will because I'm just a lonely dude living in this small town, trying to get a job, and trying to go to college, trying to you know, do whatever, live real life, and then you get a guy like NF, who's doing the exact same thing, but he doesn't see it as a superstar life, because he's not going after everybody, like, he's not, you know, he's not going after girls, he's not going after the car, the money, he's not, you know, the house, he's just living life, and he's giving us these sort of tools, in a way, to try to maneuver us through the same areas he got, he went through, in case we ever do, and that's really why I love NF so much because he's real and it says it Jefferson. right Jefferson. <laughs> right on that sleeve real music Jefferson. no one does real Jefferson. music than him in my opinion Jefferson. no one Jefferson. no one and sure it's cool to listen to some you know trap music every now and then just to get you know get hyped or have fun but when it comes down to it you gotta be real you gotta you gotta you gotta do some bro you gotta make you know you gotta live life eventually and 
he gets that. He understands it. And the picture just went back again. Um, yeah, he gets it. That's why I really why I, I love him so much. So, rating for this album. Initially, instinctively, I want to give it a 10. But in all honesty, I can't because it's not a perfect album. There's no such thing as a perfect album. Personally, I give it a 10 out of 10. If I were to think like a like a critical standpoint, I would have to give Perception by NF a 9 out of 10. I know. Oof. So downhill, right? No, it was so great. I think a 9 is pretty good. Every album he's put out, in my opinion, is a 10 out of 10 because it's just it's all great. But there's not a lot of variety when it comes to his music. I mean, if you like emotional stuff, um, you like emotional, hard, um, lyrical, amazing stuff, then yeah, this is your guy. Um, but if you like softer stuff, kind of like a J. Cole type feel, then I wouldn't say listen to NF because there's nothing, he doesn't have anything like that. <laughs> he, um, like I said, doesn't have a lot of variety, but it's okay because he's doing him, he's enjoying himself, he's making music he wants. So stop hating on NF because he's fantastic. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, you know, hit that like button, subscribe, comment if you want. Uh, yeah, all that stuff, all that YouTube stuff people always say. I don't really know how to say it because I'm not writing down a script for myself. But uh, yeah, catch me in the next video. Next week, I'm gonna be doing the Tech 9 Collabos review. Hopefully, with Mikey, let's hope that his schedule kind of coincides with mine. If not, then maybe Jeff, and if not, then maybe just me again but uh, thank you guys so much again for watching taking the time out of your day to watch me talk about music and uh yeah see you later peace